I'll live. Is uh, your father taking care of you? Oh, you got quite a sense of humor. I beg your pardon? As soon as my old man found out I was going to live, zoom, off he went somewhere to celebrate. That's the last I saw of him. He seemed quite devoted to you. Oh, he's a big fake. Tears flow like wine, and wine flows like tears. He's been celebrating one thing or another since 1940. I mean, like World War II, the flu epidemic, recession. Well, he'll come back crying, but only if he finds out I've been hit by a truck. Shot? Who's the girl? What do you say? Doc says it's a miracle. Frank? Yeah. Let's see if you can find out about these two. Sure. You know, if I'd taken the kind of tumble you just did, I'd want to have some x-rays made. How old are you? We'll skip that. I know how my girlfriend feels about that question. Your purse. Can you see that? Come on. Hey, Adam. Got him a shot. It's Marty Harrison. Are you sure? He's got a wallet full of credit cards, which says so. Snapshots of his wife and kids, and the cars registered in his name. Come on, we gotta be going. Come on. Come on. Look, don't do me any favors. Hey, I'm only one drink ahead. You'll have no trouble catching up. Here I come. Something's bugging you. You don't have to be polite. I'll go away. No, 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 no. Stay and talk to me. Well, um, then let's talk about that sailor off our ship who was killed back in Hong Kong. Did you hear about that? The bar steward told me it's all over the ship. <laughs> I guess that figures. Well, anyone for dancing? Crazy. Miss Dooley? Yes. They call for you. Thank you. Hello. Diane, listen. <laughs> this is guys, listen. I said, you never look better in your life. I said, you know something? You haven't changed one bit in 30 years. He says, I'm 60 years old. I said, that's what I mean. 30 years ago, you looked 60 years old. <laughs> so I go to the studio. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm terrible with names. These are the same people in the same gang that I work with, see, in the same studio. Now, Hank is with me, see, and I'm scared to death that I won't recognize these fellas. But as a fellow walks across the set, I says, Hey, Sam Schlesinger, how are you there, boy? And by George, that was his name. So I says, Sam, I want you to be... You forgot her name. I forget her name. How do you like it? Billy, take your take pill. Take my pill, I know you. Well, anyway, she's never... The mob. The syndicate. Call it what you will. I know them. Billy's their boy, you know. I've been to their parties, their picnics, their meets, and their orgies. Heard them talk, drunk or sober. They don't mind me. They talk in front of me like I was a table or a footstool. What do you want to know? Who blew the whistle on you and Marty? George, Billy, I don't know. What's the difference? How do they put the cuffs on Marty? Well, Marty was a comer. They gambled that he could... Poor Faust. What else do you want to know? Everything. That would take me 40 days or 40 nights. I know. Got a cigarette? Sure. Yes, that's the one, Kathy Brenner. <laughs> you seem sure it was either Alice or Lois. Which is why the mail never gets delivered to the right place in this town. Oh, I'm sorry, Smoke. Thank you. Did, uh... Did you want to see Kathy about something? Well, not exactly. Oh. 
Are you a friend of Mitch's? No, not really. You know, I've been wanting a cigarette for the last 20 minutes. I just couldn't convince myself to stop. This tilling of the soil can become compulsive, you know. It takes a bit of getting used to. Where are you from originally, Annie? San Francisco. Oh, how did you happen to come up here? Oh, a friend invited me up for a weekend a long time ago. Look, I see no reason for being coy about... Oh, yes, this is Melanie. I'm fine, thank you. No, no trouble at all. I simply followed the road. Well, there's no need to apologize. I can understand. Well, it's very kind of you. Thank you, Annie. Oh, wonder who that can be. Someone there? How about him and that broker friend of his, uh, what's his name? Clinton. George Clinton. Do we have a horse running Saturday? Sure. Right challenge. Oh. Well, uh, the Clintons are rather busy. They have house guests from New York, the Rodmans. He's president of the Senate City Trust. I could invite them, too. That'd be great. Maybe they'd like to stay on for the auction. How about that list? Find anything we want? It's a four-year-old named Parasol Pine. You might have seen him run. He's a rough-made bay with a white... Hello. Am I late? We clock ourselves differently, I suppose. I earned it. Is that how he sees it? Clothes on my back. That's what I'll walk out with. It's a risk I run for being careless because I love Oh, you can go in now. possible chance. I, oh, I didn't know where you were. I, I've been running that ad for a week. I know. You see, I just... Mm. Did I say a week? It, it seems more like... Well, Richard, you don't know. Just sitting here, waiting, trying to pray, telling myself you'd have to see it. You just have to. Is it that... Whoever it was, you bit his head off. That's not like you, Ellie. Oh, what am I like, Lieutenant? I always thought you were like your father, meaning the best. Well, you made your pretty speeches, Phil. What comes next? The grilling? I suppose that's the routine. No grilling. Uh, hello. Uh, would you get me the Edmond Hotel, please? Spring Valley, and good evening. Pardon? Yes, we're the only inn in Springdale. Uh, I beg your pardon. Uh, we have a wedding party. If you could talk a little slower. This is Mrs. Burnett. Ada Burnett. I'm trying to reach my daughter, Eleanor. I believe she's there. If you'll hold on, ma'am, I'll be glad to pay you. Telephone for Miss... Telephone for Miss Eleanor Burnett. Miss Burnett, please. Board into the facts surrounding the recent crash. Present, along with the investigating authorities of that board, are representatives of the airline involved, as well as spectators with special and personal interests in the tragedy. These, of course, include relatives of the victims, along with lawyers, and prominent among them, the well-known attorney, Charles... Sounds like a talent raid. It is. I'd like to create a new author's department at our firm, with you heading it. 300 a week to start to see if you like us. We know we like you. We? The whole office likes me? The editorial we. Me. You'd be responsible to me directly. I promise a free hand. That's very flattering. But there's a but. 
Well, how am I doing? I'll bite. How are you doing? <coughs> Thought you swore off those things. I did. <coughs> I have no character. Besides, I like to cough. What's it to you? Nothing. It's nothing to me. Nothing except it's going to take me quite a while to break in a new girl if they caught you out here in a bag. Look, would you mind if we didn't go over those changes today? Why'd you have a bad night? No, did you? Then you are moving there. Yes, I am today. Well, looks like it's moving day for all of us. I'm leaving Prince House. I'm going over to Hodge Hathaway to head a new author's department. When did you make that decision? Just now. Just now. Progress? Mm-hmm. I'm writing three or four thousand words a night on my new book, Boone County. I'm also blocking out a novella, Evelyn Biggers. When do you sleep? <laughs> well, I do get tired. <laughs> Which is, ladies and gentlemen, Kentuckian. For I do get tired. And they got hungry for turkey. Is Ross Hodge such a saint? He never hurt me. You did, Arthur. More than once. Besides, he needs me. You don't need me. After all, I'm only a woman. There are millions of us built more or less the same. you been? Fine, but we haven't seen much of you lately, Jack. Well, I've been hiding my light under a bushel, and the name of that bushel is the Fort Penn Sentinel. Your father would have been very proud of you. Maybe. Well, people say it's better now than when he was running it. Which would make him sore, but not necessarily proud. <laughs> <laughs> Jack, the reason I'm here. I know, I know. The annual spasm of the upper crust for the underprivileged. Over there. Grace, I hope it works out. I don't know. It will. It has to. You invite Amy Hollister? Oh, no, I thought you said they were separated. Be serious. <laughs> the trouble with you is you spend too much time with your guinea pigs, and they're a very grim bunch. Everything's a joke with you, isn't it? I'm sorry, it's a curse. I'll get Nancy. That means. Oh, I'll have one of those, whatever. It's got your water. Why did you answer that ad? Why didn't you drive yourself? <laughs> Answering questions with questions sounds like my psychiatrist. Besides, I asked you first. <laughs> You're dangerous to talk to. Are you dangerous? No, I'm not dangerous. Are you running from something? Police. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you ask a foolish question, you get a foolish answer. It's just that, well, I'm a runner and it takes one to know one. Ah, grazie.
Good afternoon, Signora Conover. Are all you Sicilian? Why do I do this? Because he told me to. This minute, he said. Wash the car. Wash the glasses. Wash the windows. Wash the mirrors. How? Just answer the questions. What's a tort? A civil wrong under the law. Ah. What's the maximum penalty for burglary? I have no idea. Uh, a lawyer, you're not. What's scopalamine? Some kind of drug. Dr. Kildare, you're not either. Uh, who wrote Gone with the Wind? Margaret Mitchell. What are galleys? Well, aren't they kind of like... Oh, forget it. Um, when the market is bearish, what does it mean? Weak. What's it called when it's strong? One thing I can't stand is a guy who needs a shave. Oh. Where are you going? Find a barber, I guess. You got any loot? A little. Well, save it. I know a place where it's all for free. Passionate and sympathetic. That's what I really need, and a cigarette. Just hold on a sec. Mm. There. Maria, one reason I called... Yes? Well, I may be gone. Told you that? He wanted to be sure, then he was going to... Tell you what? Call you? He said I could go away with him if I wanted to. When he phones... He won't. Well, you're the only one he can count on. He has no one else now. Keep the price of education down. He said you went through them a lot more than he did, though. Well, Harry was very fast. Tell me about him. Uh, well, what do you want to know that you don't know now? Average height. Winning single-handed. There was a time I had a kind of crazy idea you cared for him. What happened there, Kitty? <laughs> Every girl in high school had a crush on Taft Malloy. It's something you get like the measles to give you immunity. Mm. I am starving. How would you like to take a hard-working girl out for a side of beef medium rare? Max and I are grubbing tonight. I'm gonna sweat out the books and see if we can find anything we can borrow on. What, afraid I won't win that prize money? Just backing you up, honey, in case. You go ahead. Town's jumping with eligible young men. Trying to get rid of me. I hate to bother you, but I'm getting worried about Henry. He's not there by any chance, is he? Uh, no, not that I know of. He said he was going to pick up the questionnaires at his office and then come straight back. Uh, well, he probably stopped off for a drink on the way home, or maybe he uh, maybe he met somebody at the office. I... The geneticist is not married. He's a scientist. Thanks a lot. I had to see you, Harry. I had nothing to do with what happened tonight. I'm not in with Roshi. Well, it wouldn't be easy, but that would have to be part of it. Tonight, Harry, in your plane. I know a place. A small Greek island. Just for two, huh? Let's get out of here, Harry. Take me back to my hotel. Hmm? I'd like to 
like to come up with it, but I can't. There's something I have to do. Now. And he never criticized my work. New York Times. It's unbelievable. The papers I didn't pay off are giving Rudy bigger raves than the ones I did. It destroys your faith in human nature. Boston. Jake, you think Rudy would walk out on a contract? Might get pushed. So where's your carpet, Tony? What's it to you? Oh, well, I want to know, that's all. If I tell you, you tell somebody else, somebody else. Tony, 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 we've got to keep records because we got to know how to move, move this stuff. tonight well you know charlie's gone i wasn't sure about you so i thought i'd go out somewhere later alone <laughs> i've done it that way most of my life there's no sense in changing now yeah well you look beautiful <laughs> well i got myself a new dress yeah i notice I gotta see you. And he won the Academy Award, and he made some good records. He liked him for that. He respected him. He said Sinatra was becoming a man. He said that he was a guy who understood saloons and loneliness and losing people and things. Challenge of the hunt. You ask me, all he needs is a good woman. You are so uncomplicated. Maybe that's why I love you. If anything is going to bring Danny back from the dead, it's going to be the search to find that girl. And that's what he lives for. Take that away from him. What's he got? I always knew I'd be good at business. I have the mind for it, and I, I love it. But I've come to learn that's not enough. I know. We need someone to share our successes or failures. After your mother died, at least I still had you. Thank you for that. Well, I'm hoping I can say the same thing about my child. I, uh... Helen, what do we know about an employee named John Gillis? Oh, he's the cute one in the sports department. That's not what I meant. <laughs> See if we can arrange it. Item number six. My motion to offer $35 per share for Puget Sound Paper Mills Incorporated. All in favor? Aye. Oh, aye. Aye. Item number seven. My motion to add two new assistant managers to our advertising department. All in favor? Aye. aye. dinner now or shall I wait for Mr. Gillis? Neither, Hilda. Let's just, uh, let's just forget the whole thing. Yes, ma'am. Give me a cigarette, will you? What's the matter? You mad at your body? That was a stupid thing I did tonight. Stupid is the word. Here. What are you, nuts? These things will kill you. Where was I? Apologizing, I think. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Not apologizing. Thank you. Good afternoon. And to you. Well, 
to frequent these... Well, I've been writing like crazy ever since I got back from the beach. Yeah, I... I promise you, you will have a script tomorrow morning. No. Mm-mm. Night, Miss Sherman. Good night, Arthur. Hmm? Arthur? Oh, yeah. It's Sandy's new boyfriend. <laughs>